Well, I was first introduced to the concept that it might be better through um, my mentor, Charles Polkin, because he would always talk about how you're wasting your time if you're doing hours of cardio, if your goal is uh, fat loss or hormone balance or things like this. Um, and being that I had a little bit of sprinting background in college, um, I took it back up again. My daughter inspired me to start sprinting again. And so I started doing the research on why is this working better and why is it working for my clients and people I know, especially women over 40. And what I discovered is that um, your, your brain uh, increases BDNF for one thing, so brain-derived neurotropic factor, um, and that in turn, the catecholamines that are released help you burn fat long after you're done running, whereas opposed to when you're uh, doing slow distance, you're, that's pretty much it. You're not really burning as much fat. BDNF, brain-derived neurotropic factor is a neuropeptide that is critical for axonal growth, neuronal survival, and synaptic plasticity. Scientists have found this to be the most outstanding neurotropic factor of all. So I'm proposing how about spend 20 minutes, 30 minutes instead of an hour of running and sprinting will absolutely do it. It'll, right. It's one of the things that will um, you know, get you really lean and without a lot of time commitment. This is a problem in society today where people are very distracted and they do want to check out and maybe listen to something or, or they're multitasking by listening to an audiobook, but that's not the time. The time that they take to exercise should be the time to focus on uh, building their body into a stronger person. So you have a lot of running injuries, um, Achilles, knees, all kinds of things, shin splints totally. um, with long, slow distance as well, uh, because they just think it's easy. I'll just go start running. And that's really not the proper way either. I think it's just a, a trend that's a mentality that's happened where, OK, I run long distance and I eat lots of carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have found these days that actually the opposite is better for you. In according to the science, the science backs it up. Right. And according to just our own daily uh, experiences with, uh, you know, my athletes, probably your clients as mm -hmm. well, and that it just works. A lot of joint pain we know comes from diet and not necessarily um, from uh, overuse injuries, which mm -hmm. tend to happen more in endurance training. So um, the inflammation that is uh, coming from the diet will present itself, bacteria actually escape and go through the bloodstream and settle in our joints. So they find the inflamed tissue. So say mm. you did overuse your knees, you have inflamed tissue there. These bacteria will go and swim and live there. And inflame them even more, like it, it creates a cascading effect. So cleaning up the diet is the first thing to getting uh, strong enough um, to do any kind of exercise. Yeah. But with sprinting, you're right, you're not using it as much. You have a shorter time period, so you, you have different, um, different types of loads that keep you from overusing your joints. So yes, better for your joints. And mm. there are different various ways to sprint. So you can be sprinting on grass first or the beach like we did today, way better for our joints. That's awesome. Yeah, and more resistance mm -hmm. for a shorter amount of time. Um, and we still got a very cardiovascular benefit of it. Totally. Um, we got into the lactic zone, which was the purpose of today was to remain explosive, um, get some cardio, uh, some, you know, breath going, and then also, you know, get into the lactic zone, which is the best way to stimulate growth hormone mm -hmm. and the best way to burn fat. People are afraid I'm going to pull a hamstring. Yep. So yeah. the best way to start is to start strength training. And mm -hmm. you can start doing that with dumbbells. You can do it with body weight to start. I really am a big fan of uh, not staying in the body weight category for too long mm. and um, having resistance training. So you can do a really easy dumbbell workout to strengthen the muscles that you're going to need for sprinting. And then you can progress to maybe start walking up a hill mm. um, because that forces you, your toe to dorsiflex, which is the proper sprinting form. Uh, your toe is up then. And so you're walking up the hill maybe for a couple weeks. It depends on your level.